My name is Steven from Buy Two Way Radios, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about the Surecom SR628 Cross Channel Radio Repeater Controller. Okay? Now, this is not a repeater in itself, but what it does do is it allows you to get two handheld radios, one with a K1 connector, and go ahead and turn that into a repeater. It's quite amazing stuff. The way you set this up is you have your receive radio, right? In this case, we have for a GMRS repeater, repeater 20, 467-675 on both radios, right? 462-675 and 467-675. You know, receive and transmit, okay? Very important, the, re the receive side, 467, that's going to be corded to the Bravo side on the back of the box. See the B right there? That's for the receive. 467, the radio that has 467 has to go in that Bravo side, okay? And the radio that has 462 has to go on the alpha side. Now that's just for GMRS. If you're using ham, um, it's whatever your receive frequency is has to be in the Bravo side, okay? It's a pretty plug and play device. There's one little caveat that's not really talked about. It's hard to find videos on. That's why we're making this video mainly. So when you key up this radio, it kind of functions, it, it needs a little bit of feedback to actually function correctly as the repeater is how it has to operate, okay? What I mean by that is when I have the, when I just barely turn the radio on and key up, it's not really going to repeat the signal because it's not really getting enough feedback. Um, so the way you do that is you key up the radio and you turn the volume knob up. You have to be very quiet when you do this because it's receiving your voice. You have to turn the volume knob up on the receive radio as you're transmitting with this radio. This is just for configuration, by the way. Until that receive radio actually keys up like you're receiving a transmission. So now, normal operation is we are able to have a repeater, just like that. Now, if you don't do this little trick, what's gonna happen, you're gonna key up the radio and it's only really going to uh, transit when you're actually talking to the radio, which you don't really want because it's kind of like box in that sense and it's a little bit hit and miss. Um, but all in all, <laughs> incredible unit. For 50 bucks, it turns two handhelds that you have into a repeater. And this really opened the door because it's not just for GMRS radios. Like I said, this is for ham radios, it's for a combination. You can theoretically use this for a ham and a GMRS radio in the same time, you know, because you can receive all kinds of frequencies on a GMRS radio, but you can't always transmit on them, of course. Um, so you can go ahead and get your old ham radio, then your old 935G if you have one, or G Plus, and uh, program a little repeater for yourself and have a little repeater for your house, your ranch, your neighborhood, whatever you need. Um, it's a nice setup. Another thing you can do for your ham guys out there is you can get, if you have an amplifier, you can plug this through your duplexer and go ahead and amplify that signal because realistically you're getting five watts in these 935Gs going through a repeater, or sorry, your duplexer, you're probably getting 3.5 or 3 watts, okay? Um, and you go ahead and amplify that to 50 with an with a, um, amplifier. Next thing you know, you got the equivalent of a 50 watt repeater with two handhelds and a little repeater controller. Incredible stuff. But that's about all i got to say about this. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Call us, talk to us, check out the unit. My name is Steven, by 2 Radios. You have a great day.